Hello everyone, welcome back to Andrina's Creations. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use your iron-on, your pattern HTV, and regular HTV to create your dark uh, shirts. So there you have it. And we're going to be creating a shirt and a pair of tights to go with this tutu outfit, all right? You're going to see how easy it is, and you're going to follow each step, and you're going to see, wow, I can't believe I did it on my own, all right? So let's get started. For your materials, you're going to need your garments or your t-shirt, your tights, your hoodie, whatever you want to use. Now, I got this t-shirt and the sleeves, I just added fabric to it. Um, like I said, I'm not a professional sewer, so I didn't know how to sew it. One day, I'll learn how to sew fabric on the sleeves. That is my mission, but as of now, all I did was grab a fabric and I cut it to the exact size of that. And I use a fabric tack. So this is the fabric that I used and this is the glue that I used. So all I did was cut a, a rectangle and then I will fold the sides in so it will not have a raw edge. And then I just glue some rip rack around the edge of the sleeve and that's all I did there. Okay, so I didn't record it. I'm sorry just because I didn't even think about recording. If I ever do it again, I will record it. But all I did was cut a rectangle out of the fabric and I used fabric glue and I did fold in the corners all around and I did not glue anything on the back, just in the front. Okay, you're going to need your lint roller to take all the lint and anything that your shirt or garment might have. You're going to need a measuring tape or a ruler to measure your uh, garment to see the size of the design that you want to make. If you want to add images to your garment, um, I'll be using 3G Jet Opaque. This is for dark shirts. Watch the prior video before this one. I did uh, white shirts, so I use uh, Nina Jet Pro Soft Stretch for my light, and I use 3G Jet Opaque for my dark. So again, because this is a black shirt and black tights, I'll be using... 3G Jet Opaque, and I get it from Amazon. That's only if you're going to be uh, printing images. I got this Sizer um, Pattern Vinyl, HTV Pattern Vinyl, and I thought it went perfect, and I am going to cut out the number two with this. So this is Pattern Vinyl. If you're going to be using Pattern Vinyl, you need a masking tape. I'm sorry, it's not called masking tape. It's called EC Mask. So it's just like a carrier sheet that you need to take out the vinyl. Basically, you know how regular HTV comes, it already comes in a carrier, sh carrier sheet. Well, this one doesn't have a carrier sheet. So you, this is going to be the carrier sheet to uh, transfer this vinyl to your garment, okay? So don't forget this EC mask. And then you're gonna need the HTV that you're gonna use whatever colors that you want. I'll be using silver, I'll be using holographic, and I'll be using glitter blue. Okay, and the brand of these vinyls is Sizer as well. And then just get all your materials and let's, and then you're going to design and then that's it. And then you're going to get ready to heat press it and so on and so on, which I'll be showing you. Your next step will be to grab your measuring tape or your ruler and measure where you want your design to be. So I want my design to be six inches wide and maybe six inches in height. So that's the rectangle that I will make in my software six by six and make sure that my design stays in in the six by six and also measure your tights where you want your design to be. All your shirts, all your shirts sizes will be different. So make sure you measure wherever you want your design to go. So you're going to open up your software. I'll be using Silhouette Studio. Before I start, I want to say that you can use Silhouette Studio without owning the cutting machine. You can use Basic Edition. Basic Edition is free. And also, if you want to upgrade, I highly recommend Business Edition. That's what I use because I'm able to use all the icons in the software. If you own a Cricut, you can still design using Silhouette Studio. You need Business Edition to save your stuff as an SVG, and then you're going to open it up with Cricut. Check down the description below because I have a whole bunch of links. I'm affiliated with Swing Design where you can get Business Edition um, cheaper. Originally, it's $100, but usually they have around $60, $40 to $60, which that's not a buy price. That is a one-time payment. And also check down below because I have a whole bunch of videos using Silhouette Studio. Now, Remember, I'll be customizing a black t-shirt and I'll be using black iron-on and I'll be using um, the HTV and pattern HTV. The first thing is, remember, we needed to measure our shirt. 
So when I come into the software, I am going to go to my left side and I'm going to click on these shapes. And I'm going to click on the rectangle and I'm going to make any size rectangle on my paper. Then while my rectangle is selected, you know your rectangle is selected when you see the little squares all around. I'm going to go up here where it says width and I'm going to type 6. And on my height, I'm going to type 6 because I want my design to be 6 by 6. I'm going to go to my fill option right here. It looks like a paint palette on my right. And I'm going to color it black just so you're able to see the um, square that I made, 6 by 6. I want my entire design to stay in here in a 6 by 6, okay? Next thing is how to set your paper size. Your paper size is your page setup is the paper icon on your right. The first icon. There's going to say the machine, cutting mat and media size. My media size, I'm going to put it that I'll be using 8 by 11. So make sure where it says media size, you need to change that to 8 by 11 because my iron on paper that I'll be using is 8 by 11, okay? How to bring in images into Silhouette. You're going to go to Google, and you're going to look up what exactly you want on your shirt, all right? I know I want uh, number two. I know I want um, to type some words, and I want, like, some stars and stuff like that. I looked up space space free SVG, okay? Once I type that, I'm going to get a whole bunch of images. I'm going to click on one of them, the one that I know I want to use. I'm going to right click, copy image, come into silhouette, right click and paste. So I know I'm going to be using some of these. First, let me type the number. So you're going to go to your A on your left, click anywhere on your screen, and I'm going to type the number 2. And then I'm going to click anywhere else on my screen so I can get off the edit mode. I'm going to click back on my number, go to my fill panel, the paint palette, and right now I'm just going to color it any color just so y'all can see it. And there's an A on your right. You're going to click on that and pick a font that you would like to use. Um, I'm maybe going to try Berlin Sands. You could download free fonts from the font.com and I have a whole separate video on that. When you download fonts, you need to make sure that Silhouette Studio is completely closed. Then you download your fonts and then you open up your software and all your fonts should be there. So how do you make this number bigger is there is white squares all around my number and I'm just going to pull from the corner to make sure that I do not distort the number. I'm not going to pull from here and I'm not pulling from here. Okay, so I'm going to undo. I'm pulling from the corner. You are going to make your words and your numbers any size of your choice. Okay. I want an offset behind my number. So while my number is selected, I'm going to go to the offset panel on my right. That is the icon with the double star. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on offset. You might not see the offset right now, but then I'm going to go to the fill panel and I'm going to color it gray so you can see it. So both of these numbers have a red outline, which I don't like. I'm just going to hold my shift key, hold my offset, click on my purple number, go to my outline panels right under the fill panel, go to the color option and click on no color. The no color is the one that has like lines across it. So now these don't have an outline. It doesn't even matter how it has an outline color. I just don't like seeing it. But remember, I'm cutting this out of vinyl. So my number two, I'm actually going to cut it out of a uh, pattern HTV. I have the Galaxy um, pattern HTV. I'm actually going to go and get a Galaxy wallpaper so I could just put it on there so I can have a vision how everything's going to look. So I'm going to go to Google and click on type Galaxy wallpaper and enter. Click on images and I'm just going to click on any. Remember, I'm not even printing this. I just want to see a vision. I'm going to right-click, copy image, go into silhouette, right-click, and paste. 
and I'm actually going to click on the image and right click and send to back. While it's sent to the back, I'm going to make sure I have my wallpaper selected. Hold down my shift key, click on the purple number two, go right here to my modify panel, panel on my right. It's like a square or a rectangle with a circle that's called the modify panel. And I'm going to click where it says crop just because I want that image to crop into my number two so I can have a vision. Remember, I'm not even printing this. I just want to see how it looks. The offset of the number two, I'm going to cut it out of gray vinyl. Now, I'm going to click back on the A on my left, click anywhere on my screen, and I'm going to type the. I'm going to actually color this gray. Go to my font option, and I'm going to click on the font Amar Amarillo, Amarillo, and click on the outline panel. And, but I'm going to zoom in because I want y'all to see something. When you are using a script font, hope that I can see this. You see that your words, like the T is going into the H and the H is going into the E. If you do not weld this, your machine is going to cut it exactly like that. So you're going to be missing pieces. When you are using a script font, you need to make sure that you are welding your script font. All you need to do is make sure that you have the um, font that you really want to use before you weld. Because once you weld, you cannot go back to change your font. So I know for sure I want to use this one. So I'm going to right click and weld. And you see, everything is going in how it's supposed to look. While I'm on my outline panel, I'm going to click on color and no color for my outline. And I'm going to zoom out. How do you zoom in and out right here? You have a magnifying that has the plus and the minus. That's how you zoom in and out. I'm just going to size this a little bit smaller. I'm going to go back to my A on my left and type moon. Click on the no outline color. Click on the color gray. And I'm going to use Berlin. All right, that's and I colored it great because I just I'm coloring it how I how um, I'm working on it so I can know for sure that's the color I'm going to use of the vinyl. All right, actually, the word the and moon, I'm going to cut it out the holographic uh, silver. OK, so now I also want some stars around here. So on my uh, left, I have the shapes and I'm going to click on the star. I'm going to make any size star on my uh, computer here. And let me zoom in so you can see it. And then you're going to have like a red dot inside your shape. You can push it in holding your mouse to fix the star, as you can see. All right. I like it just like that. I'm going to actually color this just like a navy blue so I know that's the color that I'm going to cut out the stars. Go to my outline color and click on no color. I'm going to right click and duplicate and make this one smaller. Now, I also want to make a star with like a, a opening in the middle. So I'm going to click on this big one. I'm going to right click and duplicate. I'm going to bring it down here so y'all can see exactly what we're going to do. While I have my star selected, I'm going to go back to my offset panel. Remember the double star on your right. I'm going to click where it says internal offset so it can do an internal offset. I'm pretty sure y'all can't see that at the moment. Let me zoom in. Right, I'm going to delete it so I can do it again. I'm going to offset, internal offset. And where it says distance, I'm going to go up. 
and then once you are satisfied with your distance I'm going to go to my fill color and I'm just going to color it purple so y'all can see that but that's not going to stay like that so I'm going to click around here drag my mouse making sure that I select them both go to my modify panel remember the um, icon that's a rectangle with a circle click where it says subtract all click somewhere else on my screen click on that purple star and click delete on my keyboard and now you see I took that star inside of that star if that made any sense I'm gonna zoom out and now I have this star probably gonna put one around here and I'm going to duplicate right click and duplicate this star now I want this star around here and I'm also going to zoom in so you can see when you are layering vinyl remember these blue stars I'm gonna cut it out of glitter vinyl when you are layering vinyl and you when you're cutting multiple colors of vinyl remember I'm just gonna cut this out separate I'm gonna cut this out separate you might not know where exactly you want this star to go once you cut everything out so what I recommend is having like a little template knowing where exactly you want this star to go and what I mean by that is make sure you have the right font selected before you do any of this so I know for sure I want to use that font for the word moon and I know for sure I want to use that font for the word the okay so while my star is selected I'm gonna hold down my shift key click on the word moon click on the word the go to my modify panel remember the icon with the rectangle in the circle and click on subtract all okay it might look like I didn't do nothing but just wait I'm going to click somewhere else on my screen to unselect everything when I move this star look at the N and look at the E I chopped a little bit off of them words meaning when I cut this out of vinyl I will know ex oops sorry let me undo I will know exactly where to put this star see I will just have to put my star right there and I know exactly that's where I wanted it to go all right now remember we got this these shapes I want to use that planet right there so what we need to do is we're gonna go to our um, trace panel sorry <laughs> trace panel that is the icon number five down on your right click where it says select trace area make a square around what you want it to trace go up your threshold just making sure that everything you want is yellow click on the word trace move this to the side and we have trace this right here I'm gonna actually also color it gray and I'm gonna go to my outline click no color so I can know how it looks and I am gonna cut that out of my holographic vinyl I also want this rocket ship so again select trace area trace that wait turn turns yellow click on trace move this to the side I'm gonna color it gray remove outline color And that's going to be holographic vinyl as well. Then again, select trace area. I'm going to trace these little stars there. Trace. Color them gray.
remove outline color and you're gonna keep on adding whatever you want to your shirt and stuff like that okay next I'm also going to be doing the pair of tights so oh no wait wait sorry on the word moon I don't want the oh I want to put a donut on them so I went to Google and I looked up Galaxy Donut PNG. I'm going to right click it because the one that I got is actually not a PNG. It has a white background. So if it is a PNG, that means it has the white and the gray squares behind it, meaning it's a transparent background. So you do have to save those to your computer. When it is not a transparent background, you can easily copy image, come into silhouette and paste. All right. Now, because it has a white background, I need to take this off of the white background. So I'm going to click on tra on the trace panel, click where it says select trace area, make a rectangle around the donut, go up my threshold so everything turns yellow in my donut, like the outline, and click where it says trace and detach. Now you can actually delete that, but as you can see, the middle of my donut is still white. So we do have to trace that circle out. Again, click on select trace area and now only do a box around the circle. Go up your threshold and click on trace. Okay, when you trace, you're going to be left with something like this. As you can see, you're gonna click on this, right click, release compound path i only need the circle select everything else click delete on your keyboard i'm actually going to color the circle so y'all can see it and i'm going to place this circle right in the middle of the donut i'm going to select them both by dragging my mouse go to my modify panel and click subtract all Click on it, wait a couple of seconds, click somewhere else on your screen, click on the circle that we did there, and click on delete. Now, as you can see, if I put my donut over here, there's nothing in the middle of my donut, okay? Now, I'm going to size my donut that matches the O's. Right click and duplicate. I'm gonna hold my shift key, click on the other donut, right click and group them together. I'm gonna click on the word moon, right click and ungroup. Click on these two O's and click delete on my keyboard and place the donuts. All right, so that's how it's looking so far. Now, for the tights, I also want to include donuts. So I should have never grouped it, but let me just duplicate and ungroup them and measure your tights, whatever size you need. I know I need these around 2.5, so I'm just going to drag it. I want two of them, so right click and duplicate. So I have two donuts. I also want to add an astronaut, so I looked up astronaut cartoon PNG. And let me see which one I want. So I'm going to right click this one, copy image, go into silhouette, right click and paste. I need to remove that background, white background, so select trace area, make a box around it. Wait till my outline turns yellow by putting up my threshold. Click on trace and detach. Click on the white background, click delete on your keyboard, and now you have the astronaut without a background. I know also I need this to be around 2.5. All right, let's not make this video so long. Let's get ready to uh, uh, put everything how we're going to cut it. I'm going to remove this black rectangle. I no longer need it. When you're going to cut HTV, make sure that you mirror your image, meaning that you need to flip everything horizontally. But wait, your HTV patterned 
of vinyl, you do not need to mirror that. So meaning this number two is going to stay just like that. These two donuts, because I'll be using dark transfer iron on, you do not mirror that. So this is going to stay like that. Everything here is going to be cut out of um, HTV, regular HTV. So I'm actually going to select everything, right click, flip horizontal. This is how you need to cut it. I am going to select all my stars by holding down my shift key. Right click and group it. Move this to the side. The number two. And I'll be cutting these out of holographic uh, vinyl. All right. So how are you going to cut this? You're just going to go to the send panel. Make sure you bring this up and, you know, fix it to save vinyl. But please leave the words exactly like that. You can move these around. But leave the words exactly like that so they could perfectly fit when you go put it on your shirt. Go to the send panel. Make sure you select everything and don't have it where it says cut edge. Click where it says cut. I do need to turn on my machine so you can see the cut settings. The settings that I like to use to cut my vinyl, I'm going to go all the way down. I like to use blade of 3, force of 10, speed of 6. Now, when I do cut glitter vinyl, I have to cut it two times. So when I cut one time, I do not unload my mat and I press send again so I can cut it two times. Remember that. Glitter vinyl and holographic vinyl, I like to cut those two to three times to make sure it weaves perfectly. When it's regular HTV, it's just one pass. I will cut the holographic vinyl first. I will then move this off the mat. And let me say, because I know a lot of people say, Angina, how does your mat look white? On your paper setup, your page setup is the first icon where it says, let me see. Transparency, right here says machine, cutting mat, media size. Where it says transparency, mine's is on zero. A lot of you guys have it on 100. I like mine's on zero, okay? Next thing is I need to cut this number two out of regular silver vinyl. I will put it on there, click send, make sure I click on it and have it on cut, have my settings, send to cut. Next step is I need to cut this out of patterned HTV. So remember, I do not mirror this. I'm going to put it there and I'm going to click send and I'm going to cut this out of my patterned HTV. Once I do that, I'm ready to print everything that I want to get printed for my tights and my shirt. I'm going to add all my images to my paper. You can either cut this by hand or you can have your machine cut it. If you're going to have your machine cut it, you need to turn on your registration marks. Again, that's the page set up your first icon on your right. Click on the third option. It's going to say registration marks. You're going to click on on. And everything that's inside of your red outline, that's what your machine is going to cut. Go to send. Make sure everything is on cut. Select everything is on cut. You first need to print this. So make sure that everything is set correctly to the paper size. So remember, I'm using 8 by 11 paper. So right here on my page setup where it says media size, I have 8 by 11. There's a printer icon right here. I'm going to click on it. It's going to say preview. I'm going to click on print. It's going to tell me what printer I'm using. I have a work for 7720. I'm going to click on preferences. My document size on 8 by 11. And my paper type, I like to print on premium presentation paper mats. I'm going to click on OK. And then when I go ahead and insert my paper on my printer, on my printer, I'm also going to select 8 by 11 premium presentation paper mat. So there's three spots that you have to put that on, and then I will print. And that will be all. That's how simple it is. Again, remember, this is not sublimation. Um, I don't do sublimation yet. Once I start sublimation, of course, I will have videos for you guys. But for now, this is how I'll do it. So make sure you have all the images here that you're going to use and all your vinyl pieces and cut um, everything, all right? So then I'm going to go over and start putting everything together. Do not forget to put your HTV 
face down so shiny side down okay all your hgv is gonna be uh shiny side down it has like a, a clear film so that should be facing the mat before you cut it don't forget that the pattern vinyl goes you do not flip it you leave it as is so the good side up on your mat after you're done cutting all your vinyl, all you need to do is take off all the extra vinyl. So you could use a weeding tool and just remove all the extra and remove all the insides of your letters and your words and your shapes. Now, this is the pattern vinyl. You're also going to weed it. You will measure your um, tape so you don't uh, waste any material. You're going to peel it off. Your EC mask is going to be sticky in the back. You're going to place it on top. Use a squeegee or a credit card, whatever you have in hand, to press it. After you're done squeegeeing, just peel it off, making sure it's on the tape. And now you are ready to start pressing. Also, when you print out your images, like I said, you can do a print and cut. I'll be cutting mine by hand just because sometimes my silhouette be cutting mine's like kind of messed up. So because this is um, dark transfer, you need to make sure you take away all the white. Do not leave no white behind because it's not going to look professional. So every single white, take it out. All right. The first thing you need to do is you need to take off the moisture off of your garment. Do not forget this step. So you're just going to put your shirt and I'm using my 15 by 15 swing away heat press and I'm going to cover it with a Teflon sheet and you're just going to press like for five seconds, to, no longer than five seconds. It's just to take out the moisture out of your garment. Moisture, wrinkles, and all that. Once you do that, make sure you always use your lint roller. All right, I'm gonna put this part first, cover it with my Teflon sheet, and I'm only going to press for like five seconds. Remember, because this is a lot of layers, every time you press, the first layer is getting pressed more and more. Once you press, just peel the film. I'm gonna put my offset and the two moons right here. Don't forget to peel off the backing off of the image. I'm going to cover it with parchment paper and then my Teflon sheet and then I'm pressing for a couple of seconds. Now put your printable vinyl on top of the offset. I'm also placing the star in the little openings of the E and the N.
place the other two stars over here all right now don't forget to always cover your image with your wax paper when you're layering your stuff do not let the teflon sheet or the heat press touch that because you're gonna mess it up remove the uh film Then I'm going to add the vodka ship here and those little stars there and then heat press this too. After you remove all the film, go ahead and do another press just like for 5-7 seconds and then you're done with the shirt. Now will be the tights, do the same thing, take all the lint off. Press it for a couple of seconds to take the moisture out. Remove the backing off your images. Cover with your wax paper and your Teflon sheet. Press for like five seconds. I'm going to press this for a couple of seconds as well. I'll place all the images where I wanted them to be at. All right, so here it is. The shirt and the tights. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and comment down below any other videos you would like to see. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload all my other videos. Thank you so much for all my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. And I hope everyone has a blessed day. Don't forget to, um, if you try these shirts and tights, don't forget to go ahead and um, request my crafting group. It's called Andrina's Creations Crafting Lounge. Also, if you would like to order anything from me, feel free to message me on Facebook and Instagram at Angina's Creations. Um, Angina's Creations. And if you don't have social media, feel free to email me at Angina's Creations at Yahoo.com. Sorry, guys. I'm doing a million things at a time. So there you have it. Guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.